Thank you, Governor Romney. That raises the question, if you were President of the United <clears throat> States, would you need to go to Congress to get authorization to take military action against Iran's nuclear facilities? Uh, you sit down with your attorneys and tell you what you have to do, but obviously the President of the United States has to do what's in the best interest of the United States to protect us against a, a, a potential threat. The President did that as he was planning on moving into Iraq and received the authorization of Congress. Did he need it? Uh, you know, we're going to let the lawyers sort out what he needed to do and what he didn't need to, need to do. But certainly what you want to do is to have the agreement of all the people uh, in leadership of our, of our government, as well as our friends around the world, uh, where, where those circumstances uh, are, are available. But the key thing here is to make sure that we don't have to use military action against Iran. That's what you hope to be able to do. And that's why we're going to put a lot tougher sanctions on Iran, economic sanctions, credit sanctions. We're also going to have to get serious about treating Ahmadinejad like the rogue and the mm. buffoon that he is. And it was outrageous okay. for, for the United Nations to invite him to come to this country. It was out, outrageous for Colombia to invite him to speak at their university. This is a person denied the Holocaust, a person who has spoken about genocide, is seeking the means to carry it out. And it is unacceptable to this country to allow that individual to have the control of launching okay. a nuclear weapon. And so we will take the action necessary to keep that from happening. And I think each person on the stage, but certainly in my case, I would make sure we would take the action necessary to keep Iran from having a nuclear well, weapon. I guess I want to get to the basic constitutional view here of you, gentlemen. I want to... Same question down the line, gentlemen. It's so important. Congressman Paul, do you believe the president needs authorization of Congress to attack strategic targets in Iran, nuclear facilities? Uh, uh, absolutely. This idea of going and talking to attorneys totally baffles me. Why don't we just open up the Constitution and read it? You're not allowed to go to war without a declaration of war. Now, as far as fleeting enemies go, yeah. Yes, if there's an imminent attack on us, we've never had that happen in 220 years. The thought that the Iranians could pose an imminent attack on the United States is preposterous. There's no way. This not, is not just attack, pleading this, this is this is just <laughs> war propaganda. Continue war propaganda, preparing this nation to go to war and spread this war not only in Iraq but into Iran unconstitutionally. It is a road to disaster for us as a nation. It's a road to our financial disaster if we don't read the Constitution uh, once in a while. Around the horn, Congressman. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Governor Hutchinson.